When I went over, it was 1965, just at the beginning of the war. You know, to tell you the truth, a lot of us guys back then, we knew very little about it. And I heard the other means, we're going to war. I think, what war? We got on the ships. In the middle of the night, the ships turned course. Then before you know it, we were on ships sailing for Vietnam. Oh my God. We are in, what's that place called again? <laughs> Operation Starlight was the first major battle in regimental size clash between U.S. and enemy forces during the Vietnam War. Operation Starlight came about because the, uh, the Viet Cong were massing a massive attack. General Walt, I believe, decided to attack them rather than let them attack us. At sunrise the next morning, choppers came in and picked us up. Ace Company landed in the CP of the Viet Cong, the command post. All you saw was explosions and people were shooting. The next thing you know, I mean, we were taking casualties right and left. My squad was no sooner off the chopper. One of my guys fell down. I went over and picked him up, and he was hit through the shoulder by a 50 and blew out of sight, and he died in my arms. I was helping load the wounded, and uh, then I got hit, and they took me back to the LZ. By then, half our company was already, already gone. I was fighting so many guys, I didn't know how I was alive. And I, I can't believe that I, that I killed as many of them as I did, you know? You just can't believe it. I landed that morning with 200 people. At that time, I had 50 left. It has often been said that no plan survives the first contact with the enemy, and Operation Starlight was no exception. Most of the enemy who were still alive filtered out of the battlefield and toward the western mountains. The Marines chased after these Viet Cong and engaged in a series of smaller but sharp firefights over the next few days. Finally, they showed that the Marines were worthy successors of those who had fought World War II and Korea. And the Marines is part of my life. I, I've never had nothing better happen to me in the Marine Corps. As far as Marines to Marines today, to me, Marines will always be Marines. We are a brotherhood. I know a lot of Marines, and they're all the same. They'll give you the shirt off their back if you ask for it. I don't care if you're a Second World War Marine or an Iraqi Marine, you're still a Marine. You're carrying on a tradition and a brotherhood that's amazing. <laughs>